has bestowed. Yet, even though eyes have not seen, right, ears, ears not heard, God, all right, these things here, okay, he has, he has said in them, but he has made known. Okay, so, but for, for yet to us, God has unveiled and revealed them by and through his spirit. Notice the channel. Notice the channel by which these hidden things are revealed. I say, notice the channel through which these things are revealed. Just going to church, going to church, going to church, you are churchified. You still going, 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 gone until you are gone. <laughs> they can't get you back. <laughs> You've gone into church and churchified. You've been fried. In church frying pan. Church fried chicken. Yeah, church fried chicken. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, God. Listen. F yet to us, God has unveiled and revealed them by, by and through his spirit. For the Holy Spirit searches <coughs> diligently, exploring and examining everything even sounding the profound and bottomless things of God. The holy what? Who has sounded the, the bottomless you know, stuff of God? The holy what? The Holy Ghost. That is the job of the Holy Ghost. And I assume, I assume that you don't have no Holy Ghost. I say, I'm assuming that you don't have no Holy Ghost. That's why these things are not being made manifest in your heart. In your heart. You ain't got no Holy Ghost. Are, are you hearing me now? Yes. I am assuming that you ain't got no Holy Ghost. That's why these things are not being made manifest. Uh, you, you heard what I'm saying? Yes. I'm challenging. You say you got Holy Ghost. Where are these things that belong to you? Where are the revelations that, that must be poured into your being so that your life will be a glorified life, lifted above the tumult and the confusion of earth's life, the chaotic condi uh, conditions in, in the world. You like that? The wickedness that is, that is, uh, the, the, uh, that is, that is just so a uh, wicked, wickedness of man's heart. And you 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 dwell in in the Amish, like 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 who like the guy who who, who went and dwell in the midst of uh, Sodom, what uh, uh, was that? Uh, a lot 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 man, lot man, he chose the wrong thing, and he went because he was looking at the green grass, green grass. Then the the grass said, all right, that's why you coming here. I'm gonna show you who I am. The grass turned brown. <laughs> The grass turned turn brown, and there he is. He ain't got no green grass no more. He's sorrow and sorrow and pain in Sodom. Uh, here, yet to us, God has unveiled and revealed, revealed them by and through his spirit. Now, the guy, the guy who is writing this, who, who is, uh, what's his name? Oh, Paul is writing that. And he said, to us. So he walking in it. Yeah. <laughs> I say he walking in it. Yes. Paul ain't, ain't just saying some stuff. That's something that belongs to him. He know it belongs to him. Amen. And he know he walking in it. Yes. To us, God has revealed to us. Yeah. God by his spirit. By his spirit. You, you wonder. You wonder why he said, I thank my God I talk them tongues. I say you wonder. Why, why, why the apostle Paul I thank God I talk them tongues more than you all. Look at what them tongues reveal to him. Look at what them tongues reveal to him. And you go to church. You got tongues. And the bass la sla. That's all the sla sla. Huh? Sla sla. The sla sla dry, dry away some flies. <laughs> what has your sla sla revealed to you? Tell me what you got from your slasla. Slasla, two minutes slasla. Come on now, bro. Churchgoers. Slas. <laughs> slasla <laughs> churchgoers. <laughs> Brethren, you see, I said, okay, let me, let me see. Say here. 
say, uh, God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For, for the Holy Spirit searches diligently, exploring and examining everything, even sounding the profound and bottomless things of God, the divine counsels and things hidden and beyond man's scrutiny. Wow! But Paul said he got it. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Is Paul a human being? Yeah. Was, Paul, was Paul a sinner too? Maybe he was a bad sinner, far better, <laughs> better than you. <laughs> Worse, you ain't killed nobody. Huh? But he killed God's children. He killed them. And now this former murderer got mercy. And God gave you mercy. You don't do nothing with your mercy. God gave you holy goals. You don't do nothing with your holy goals. But you go to church regularly. <laughs> you wonder why Paul went crazy the first day that it was revealed to him? Whoa. Oh, Nam Shukuru Mungu. Kwamba mimi nasema. Kwa luga ingeni koliko nye nye nyote. Nam Shukuru Mungu. Ah, Baba Mungu. Nam Shukuru Mungu. Wewe ni Mungu. <laughs> I love Swahili. It's good stuff. It's good language, bro. <laughs> you are the Lord. You are. You, wewe. Is that you? Yeah, that's emphasis. Wewe ni mungu. Wewe ni buwana. Na mshukuru mungu, I thank my God. Are you hearing me now? I don't know why you don't thank your God. Yeah. What do you thank your God for? For barbecue that yeah, we did dogs. <laughs> we, we thank our God for the dogs he gave us today. Uh, dogs and hamburgers at the baptismal service. We ate dogs. <laughs> That's all we praise God for. You can quite, quite thank Tanzania. The Summa, Maxima. In Summa. <laughs> Oh, brother, you see what he's saying? He said, God has revealed this to us. To us, that so that he knows it. The things that I have not seen, Paul said, I have handled it. But, but so why, why can't you handle it? Because he told us. He, he told us. He told us. He said, he said here, but God has revealed to us right, through his spirit. And the spirit searches these things. And the spirit dwells inside you, bro. So he searches them to give to who? Because you ain't blasting. You ain't blasting. The only thing that, that, that takes you into this realm is the blasting in the Holy Ghost. Revelation comes through the channel of praying in tongues. You ain't praying for, 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 for hours. How can you burst into the breakthrough realm? Where revelations are poured into your being like it was poured into Paul's being. Amen. You see, pe people don't, don't understand that they, but Paul ain't there. I say, is Paul alive? No. But what he saw and wrote is for us. Amen. We are to walk in it. Amen. This is for us. Amen. To glory, lift us up in glorification. Cause us to rise in the spirit and see the glory of God. These are the words that make us men of God, women of God, sons of God. Now you, 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 you imagine walking in this realm. What kind of man are you? You, you must look weird. That, that what, that's what Paul said. Hey, the way we carry ourselves, people say we look crazy. So we are crazy, but listen, I ain't crazy. There is a power. <laughs> there is an inward power that drives me crazy. It is the power of the love of God that makes me blast in the Holy Ghost in search of these hidden secrets. I search out these hidden secrets and God reveals them to me. So I walk in it. Was there power in Paul? I said, was there power? 
Was there power in Paul? Yes. And can you not can you also not walk in power? Yes. But are you are you willing to pay the price of discipline and persevering tenacity? Yes. What is more important to you? To grow in Christ or to grow in the world? Let's go. He says, 